Hey guys, we're David here. It has been well over a year since I gave you a tour of my room, also known as Tour of a Geek's Room. I believe the last time I did it was maybe May of 2009. Well, it's now June 2010, and I'm well over that deadline, I guess if that's what you want to call it. And through many requests on YouTube, Twitter, even my email and the social blog, at practically everywhere I look, people want to tour of my Geek's Room. So that's what I'm going to give you guys, and just as a heads up, most of the stuff you see in this video, you can kind of find in the social blog store at the at the creator1.tv slash store. No, actually it's called TC1 store, but I'll have the link under the video for those interested. Because I know I'm going to get a lot of people asking, where'd you buy this, where'd you buy that? But if you but if you still have questions, ask them in the comment section under the video. Anyway, without further ado, here's the tour. Okay, so as always, let's start over in this corner. You guys don't really need to know any of this stuff, this is boring stuff. Uh, that's bubble wrap. Uh, actually, that's not boring. That's a keyboard I got from my friend Alfred um, a couple years ago for Christmas. Very cool of him to uh, get that for me. And that is a shelf. I don't know why that's there. Anyway, there is an intercom system that we use in the house. Uh, we can kind of talk to the other rooms and all that good stuff. I don't really use it that often. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Getting over to the more interesting stuff. Here's my right channel speaker. It's a Yamaha speaker. These were given to me by my dad. I used to have the Onkyo. Uh, speakers that came with my receiver. Yes, that gook is still there. I have to get that off. Uh, but he gave me these when he got new speakers downstairs. And yes, that is dog fur and cat fur. I have to clean that. My room's going to be a little messy, just as a warning. This is my remote to my air conditioning unit. It's currently off right now for your convenience, so it's not freaking loud in the background. But there it is. I got this from Home Depot for, I believe, $300, which is a little pricey, but it's well worth it. And it's paid off since I bought it last year. And it gets freaking hot in here. It's currently, let's say, 83 degrees. Not very cool. So as soon as this video is done, it's going back on. Bobbleheads, which I think are here every year. There's Mario's now over here. I believe he was on my desk before. So yeah, there's Mario, Yoshi, Bowser, and Luigi. Little Warthog figuring I got going here. Here's my Chumby. Let's turn that on. I don't know why it's not on. Here's my Dundee Award for Bushiest Beaver Award. Uh, last year at a party we gave it, no I'm just kidding guys, this isn't really my award. This is from The Office for those of you who watch the show. Kudos to you guys, it's one of the best shows ever. Yes, that is my Dundee for Bushiest Beaver Award. Awesome. And there's a chumby it's booting up. A little rubber thing that came with it. Here's my cocaine drink. I did drink the first one. If you're interested in seeing my first taste, just search my video, cocaine. And no, it's not the actual drug, it's just, yeah. Very strong energy drink. Pretty extreme. And I've had a lot of energy drinks. Here's a clock just I use for doing video games and no time it is and whatever. Here's my uh, laser stars. This looks amazing at night, but it's obviously not going to show that well. But you can kind of see green. Uh, but trust me, it looks amazing at night. It's great to just stare at it and think of ideas because that's what I do. And all that good stuff. Here's my Sony, I believe it's a Trinitron 30 inch HD TV. It does 1080i, it does not do, it, it does not do 1080p unfortunately. But I got this TV literally like more than five years ago, so it's pretty old for um, in terms of HD technology. I'm hoping it dies soon because it sucks up a lot of en um, energy and I want to buy myself an LCD one day. But we'll see, eventually. 160 gigabyte Apple TV, in my opinion, one of the one of the most underrated Apple products. I love my Apple TV. I use it multiple times a week. It's my Onkyo receiver. Um, it goes up to six channels, I believe. Yes, it is very dusty. Um, this was part of my home theater in a box that came with the center channel speaker, which I totally forgot to show. And here's my sensor bar. It's an existing connection. Oceanic Airlines. Yes, that's our Wi-Fi name. Lost anybody? Connecting the network. Going back down here, Xbox 360 with two controllers, PlayStation 3. As you know, I'm really a 360 fanboy over the PS3, but both are still great consoles. And of course, I have my Wii over here, which I haven't played in a while, but I do have to play Super Mario Galaxy 2, which looks amazing. And I have my Wiimotes back there with the charging station. And I do have an unboxing video on that if you're interested. Here's a thinky uh, snowman thing I got. When the PS3 goes on, the lights go on. Actually, let's turn it on real quick little LED should go blue. There it goes. It looks a lot cooler at nighttime, but you get the idea. 
And yes, that is dusty. I don't use my PS3 that often. Like I said, I'm a 360 person. Here's my TiVo DVR. A uh, little Gamefly thing as I'm running split second at the moment. Xbox Live headset, which is just on the ground. Here's a Zugu case, which I'm giving away. Um, a couple of videos back, if you're interested, you can still answer. I'm going to pick that winner in a couple of days or so. Here's my backpack, my PowerBook G4, 17 inches in there. This is kind of like my product corner over here. Uh, products I get sent from other companies that I still have to do videos on. For instance, like video capture. Yes, I still have to do that. I've just been doing other things lately. Um, a Richard Solo battery, which is amazing. I really like that battery, um, among other things. And in here is a bunch of old uh, videotapes for my flash for my TC1 flashback series. All right, let's speed this up a little bit. Left channel speaker, pretty much the same as right, except it's obviously the left channel. Over here is my Xbox 360 and Wii games. If you're interested in my collection, I have a video on those. This is the tube I have going outside that practically, well, it basically, not practically, it basically sucks in the air and then it turns into the cool air. And currently I have a bucket back there to make the water go in, but I have to buy a pump stuff in, in Home Depot that will just practically spit the water outside. Here's my little USB hub, uh, USB hub, Ethernet hub. I'm actually 3 I have several videos on that if you're interested. Just search my channel, I'm actually 3 upgrade. The Mario hat that I got from Alfred. I love this hat. My iMac looks sexy with it, doesn't it? Look at that, look at that. Here's kind of like my business corner, I call it. These are like where I put invoices and checks and all that stuff. This is a drawer full of electronics that I cannot close. The drawer broke and just will not close. Maybe I'll do a tour on that one day. Um, here's my PowerBook G4 case. I paint on it from college. Here's my little miniature filing cabinet that I did a video on uh, as well. And these are a bunch of TC1 flashback tapes that I still have to review. Maybe I'll do videos on those in the future. And my huge PS3 collection. It's obviously sarcasm. I only have Uncharted 2. Um, as well as a few other PS3 games like Assassin's Creed, Little Big Planet, and Call of Duty 3. And that's literally it. And then I have some Blu-rays, Cast Away, and obviously Up. Let's put that back there. Let's put Up on top. My Canon, uh, Canon EOS Rebel XT. What else, what else, what else? Right, moving on over here. I have a Crash Bandicoot just kind of chilling up there, just overwatching everything. Here's my Think Different Rasturbation. I did not say masturbation, I said rasturbation. Just Google rasturbation, the word raster, R-A-S-T-E-R, -E then the word bation. If bation's a word by itself, I'm not sure. Here's my Think Geek uh, LED cube, oh, the cable came out, it's on the side of my bed. But that looks pretty sweet at nighttime when plugged in. You may be wondering why I have four pillows. I'm not really sure. Well, I am, obviously I know why. It's because of college. I had several video, uh, several pillows at college. Then I just brought these back, and now I have four pillows. They're not really required, but I don't really know what to do with them. Here's my Flip Minnow HD case. That's also in the TC1 store if you're interested. Back here is my rear left channel speaker. This is a Hershey's thing I got on my birthday in New York City. Picture of me and my mom uh, from the Hershey's store. And yes, that is real chocolate. But I'm not going to eat it for souvenir reasons. Some chapstick or whatever. Um, Apple TV remote. I still do not have the new metal one. Here's my lamp that I just did a video on. Probably like a month ago. This is also in the TC1 store if anyone's interested. I love this lamp. Uh, I practically swear by it now. This is my reading lamp because I'm currently reading Delivering Happiness. Great book. If anybody wants a very motivating book... Um, about business and just passion and profits. This is a great book. Definitely check it out. But yeah, this is like my reading light, so it points towards there. Oh, and this is also a, this is my finder pillow from an old friend of mine. Um, yes, there's fur on it, but whatever. This is from Throwboy.com. I love this pillow. I really do love this pillow. It's amazing. Yeah, here's my lamp. The bulbs do move. It's pretty cool. And yeah. Bam. My Mac Pro, the system that drives it all, including editing this video that you're watching now. This is a dual core, dual processor, four cores total, 2.66 gigahertz, Intel Xeon, five gigabytes of RAM. I have four hard drives in there currently, uh, so all the bays are filled up, but I'm gonna take out some old hard drives eventually and put like maybe 500 gigs or one terabytes in there. 
And I have other videos on that if you're interested. This is my Bluetooth dongle. Yes, I love that word, dongle. Because the internal Bluetooth module is very weak for whatever reason. So I need to use that. I don't really mind. Um, it wasn't really that expensive. Because I'm finally using my Magic Mouse. And there's my setup. Apple Cinema Display 23 inch. Dell Display 20.1 inch. This display is actually dying. The Dell display is almost dead. Uh, it flickers every time I turn it on from after being on for a while, uh, off for a while, I should say. So that monitor is probably going to be totally dead within a month. So yeah, Apple Cinema Display. I love this thing with the touch sensitive controls on the side. Maybe I'm easily amused, but I just think touch controls are the future. Well, they obviously are the future, hence the iPhone and everything. Blue Snowball mic. Thank you, Sully. I love this microphone. That's that's what I use during my streams. Apple wired keyboard. I'm not a fan of the wireless because it does not have the number pad, but the design is amazing. Here's my iPhone 3GS. Currently in my iSkin Solo. I have a video on that. Just did one actually. Some old DVDs my dad asked me to check on to see what's on there. Um, I'll do that later. My glasses and iSkin Solo um, special edition. My TouchCam N1, love this webcam. HD is not fully compatible with the Mac yet, which sucks, but the quality still looks great. So my Apple iSight camera, got that in 2004. Great camera, but obviously dated in terms of technology. Some random popper I got, where it pops after a certain time. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but you get the idea. I got this turtle in a geocaching video. I cannot wait to do geocaching again. It's definitely that time of year. What else, what else, what else? Here's my speaker controls because this is my Logitech, I can never think of the name, like Z2600 or Z2100, something like that. Uh, but it's also in the TC1 store if you're interested. Great system. The subwoofer is amazing. It has some real nice kick to it. There's my Panasonic PVG S500 hiding in the case down there. That's hot chocolate on the side that you see that happened around Christmas time. Battery backup and a fridge. Yes! David, you have a fridge. I know, I know, I know. I'm lazy. But no, really, um, it, it, was, it was an extra fridge from college or whatever, so we put it in here. But I'm giving it to my uh, sister soon because um, she needs one for uh, moving out soon. So here is some kind of magnetic acrobatic dude I got for Christmas. My Mighty Mouse, kind of my backup mouse, and my OS X Cats from AC Moore. And two mini tripods. And a picture of me and Mimi. Missy Mimi. Uh, Pam's painting from the office and a magnet I got from David Banther. Thank you very much, David. Where else? Well, what else I should say? My iPad. 32 gigabyte Wi-Fi. Love this thing. And there you go. Yes, I, I had my, uh, my uh, iPad jailbroken to do the Metal Gear sound, as you can hear. So that's pretty cool. Here's my um, Apple... Um, iPad keyboard dock, which is great. My Dwight bobblehead, obviously from the office. My Zugu case for the iPad, I love this case. It's a really nice case. Oh, also my tripod. No, that is not used for making videos in bed. You can use your imagination there. <laughs> that is actually for video blogs. So if I was to do this, that's the view you would see of myself talking to the camera. And yes, you probably spotted munchers before. I like to eat when I'm working on things. Who doesn't? And it's kind of like my gamer snack, and Jesse loves munchers too, so I usually try to have them stocked. Yes, trash can full of food, uh, mainly Wawa coffee. And of course, the rear right channel speakers back here. And here's my Ninja Gaiden wall scroll. I've had a thing for years now. Uh, visual communications thing we made in um, Stockton College, since I majored in visual arts. That was kind of like to mimic the whole uh, Adobe CS intro thing. Made this at Gloucester County College with Jesse. There's Artist Jay Gray there, and there's me. That's horrible. I can do much better nowadays, trust me. Oh, I totally forgot to mention my eye museum, I call it over here, or my eye shrine. Eye shrine, that's it. This is my eye shrine. This is a bunch of old Apple stuff. Not old, but stuff I don't need to be laying around, so I put it on my eye shrine. Um, iPod Nano Fatty. All the iPhone boxes um, between my iPhone and my mom and dad's iPhones. My iPod 5th generation 60 gigabyte, obviously my iPad box. That's my iPod Shuffle, which I won from um, Deals Plus on Twitter. That's, that was amazing. iPod Shuffle, which I bought myself a while ago. And my, of course, 
my first generation iPhone. And this was a very generous gift from my good friend Alfred, also known as Aiden Blossy on YouTube. This is the 25th anniversary of Macworld. Check that out. He framed it for me and everything. That was an awesome gift. Thank you again, Alfred, if you're watching. Amazing. All right, so going back over here, it's my closet. You don't really need to see inside my closet. Actually, you know what? I'll open it up. You can't really open the right door because it's jammed. Yes, my closet's a mess again, even though I made a video about it a while ago. But a bunch of old video games and CDs. I don't use CDs anymore. Uh, my Dreamcast is up there. I have a video on that if you're interested. My Dreamcast keyboard. Good memories playing Quake 3 with that in NFL 2K1. Power Mac G4, used for backup, even though I really can't get to it. And my old Apple Studio display, which I got from my friend Chris. And my iPhone is ding-dinging in the background. Shout out to Liz. Logitech mouse, don't really use it, it's just kind of like my backup mouse. And some UPS boxes for shipping. And all that good stuff. Going over here, this is like a very random... I don't know, sticker wall I want to call it. I don't know what to call it. Just a bunch of random stuff that I like to put up here. David DeFranco, No Cavity Club. I was just a little kid then. These are a bunch of cases I have um, for media purposes, business purposes, just to use when I need to ship something out. And yes, I'm 24 years old, but I have a monkey on my door. I've had that thing for years. I love it. And of course, there's a classic Apple logo. I think that's everything. Let's do a quick pan around one last time. Hopefully I didn't miss anything too big. Still panning, still panning. And I think that is it. Real quick, if you care, this is from my associate's degree at Gloucester County College and this is my bachelor's degree at Stockton College. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. This is from Gloucester County College. This is from graduating at high school. I don't know where my Stockton one is. That's a good question. It's probably in my uh, little souvenir bag that we got at the end of college. This door has issues. There you go. And it opened again. Well, that was fun. Hopefully I didn't miss anything too big. I think I got everything. Um, it's a pretty small room, but I have a lot of stuff packed in here, as you can probably see. But again, as mentioned, if you guys have any questions about my room, just say so in the comment section. I try to reply uh, to as many comments as I can, because that's the point of YouTube, staying in contact with people. And, oh, real quick, I do have an Apple dog tag that I got from eBay a while ago during the Mac OS X Panther launch. I was not a Mac user back at the Panther launch, but, and now it fell off. I'll have to fix that later. Now I think that's really it, guys. Thanks again for watching. If uh, you're interested in the social blog, go to thecreativeone.tv. And don't forget to check out techsetups.com. That's kind of like the show for Mac relaunch, but it's for everyone interested in uploading pictures of your setups. And it's also very motivational and inspirational um, if you're interested in changing your setup. And yes, I will eventually upload a picture of my own setup to my own website. I know. What's my problem? As always, thank you for watching. If you want to get in contact with me, Twitter me up or tweet me at twitter.com slash David DeFranco and I'm also on email, obviously, who isn't, at thecreative1.tv slash contact. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Peace!